Luna, <laughs> actually, I got the. I got well, you the, have the press material. I have the press material. I put that up last night. The press material from it over on NBN News Video Web. That's what I mean. You can, if you played a movie in Los Angeles before the Oscar period is up, you can basically. I mean, I was wondering why that was. Well, now you can put Oscar nominated short. Yeah, but Luna. because what happened was um, most people can understand. How did Limelight, which was released in the world, you know, get an you know for uh, for you had to win the Oscar for best music mm -hmm. because it was never released in Los Angeles. So when they uh, released it in Los Angeles, you know, um, the the Jerry Lewis's theme song for um, the, uh, the for Muscular Dystrophy Association it was the main theme of that movie, it's on the movie. It was it had been heard basically for forty years people have been playing that song, blues have been using it. But they played it in Los Angeles because finally they they forgave Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin had this thing about young girls. So he ah. found the country. There's a lot of guys that have things for young girls. But they uh, assume uh, they, I understand the morning um, that basically this one the morning stroll won the bath. Which one? You know, the morning stroll. A morning stroll? Yeah. Okay. That's almost the suspension. Next one, equally as watched. Actually, less equally okay, watched. Nobody it's sees best this documentary thing. short. You don't see them. I mean, if you go, to, you go to Sundance, you might be able to get in to see them, but most of these are not well shown. They, they show them enough to get a nomination. Actually, as of this afternoon, we're going to start our qualification run for the for the Sea Rock Slide. We're going to enter our first film festival. Yay! So, so uh, number one, God is bigger than Elvis. Yeah. The tsunami and the cherry blossom, saving face, incident in New Baghdad, and the barber of Birmingham, foot soldier of the civil rights movement. Yeah, God is bigger than Elvis is expected to win because um, okay, I knew an actress named uh, I think Dolores Hart who was big, you know, really hot, working all the the, the youth movies in the 1950s. She quit to uh, become a nun and run the Christopher's film operation. She was just a roaring actress, folks. I mean... Who? Uh, the, the, the Dolores Hart. What, what, I think it was which, well, which movie is no, Dolores it's, Hart? It's, God is bigger than Elvis. Basically... Oh, that's Dolores Hart? Yeah, well, I thought that basically of Dolores Hart. That's, well, yeah, because uh, it's, a, it's her story. And um, they think that that's going to walk away with it because Basically, she had a different calling. She just um, acting. And now here's somebody. She's she's a movie star. She's engaged to be married. She decides to walk away from it all and become a nun. And she became a big nun, not just a nun nun. She was running like really? Christopher's for years, and you know the television film operation. So of part of it is she, she definitely had. But a she she still she did exactly what she was doing before, except she did it behind the camera and not in front of the camera. So. Next one, best live action short. Yeah. Equally not a scene. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, they, 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 they don't even have the production companies who did this. So. Pentecost, Raju, The Shore, Tuba Atlantic, and Time Freak. Yeah, but uh, I've been trying to work. The Irish movie's going to win, which would be, uh, I don't know which one. <laughs> yeah. All I know is the Irish movie is expected to be it because it swept all of the movies, and I don't know which one is the Irish movie. Because they talk, they talk about it, but they don't tell you which movie it it'd is. It'd probably be the, I, I don't know, probably the time, for, uh, the time, for, it says it's a comedy, and it's in Ireland, so it certainly wouldn't be, actually, that's what, it's got to be. Pentecost? Pentecost, because they're not Pentecostals in Ireland, but. I know, they're not Pentecostals. It's sympathetic that he suffers under rebels against the domineering Pentecost, it's got to be it. Because he's, he's rebellious. And he's suffers. rebellious. He didn't say it was, I didn't say it was made in Ireland, it said it's an Irish movie. So that's our our choice. We've given you what the ones that uh, have been winning, the ones that the favored to win, and what we think will win. So, you know, we, but see, you can do your own Oscar predictions. I think if you go yeah. on the Academy's website on they got a, for they, Oscars. They got a thing that you can basically download and, and you play your own ballots, yourself. Can you? So, good. But, um, again, you can print out your ballots on there. I know Mark Friedland, it's M A R C F R I E D L A N D, yeah. who did who does official invitations for the Oscars. Yeah. First first time ever they've licensed anybody to do it, so you can do your own online Oscar invite. Yeah. Um, but, on those, there's a game like a bingo, I think. Yeah, and you can basically send out Oscar invites to you know for Oscar viewing parties, courtesy of the Academy Awards, Arts and Science. So.
I know. They're trying to move into the onto the internet, but not, they're, they're just a learning process. So until next Oscars, this is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.mondaybubble.net on the net or www.mbn news video web web dot com on the net. And so wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And if you've been watching, we have been expanding all over the place. We've added live streaming also into our various types of coverage. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet.